All right, welcome back. So in this tutorial, we will be creating the background slider for our landing page of Yelp Camp. The background slider is gonna have five images that fade into one another, so they're visible for five seconds. They take a five second fade in and a five second fade out. And the fade out overlaps with the fade in for the next image, creating a crossfade effect. So the first thing I'm gonna do is open up my C9. I have a directory called background slider and background slider is actually just version 11 of Yelp camp. So if you take your version 11 and create a version 12, then you can begin working from that directory. So I'm going to visit the tutorial that I created on GitHub. The URL for this is github.com slash my username, which is nax 3 t and then slash background dash slider. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is open up our landing.ejs page. I'll go back over to my workspace, go to the views directory and open up landing.ejs. So I'm gonna go back over here to the tutorial and I'll copy this whole portion of code. So we're just gonna replace all of this and now what we have here is our doc type set to HTML. And then inside of our head area, we have a couple links. We have one for bootstrap min.css, that's our CDN for bootstrap. And then we link to our custom style sheet. This is a new style sheet that I created because I don't wanna use any of the styles from the main.css. These styles are gonna be specific to the landing page. So we're also gonna to have to add a landing.css inside of our style sheets directory. But we'll get back to that in a second. I've also added a CDN for something called modernizer. So what Modernizer is gonna do is going to check the browser for the version, and then it'll add some special classes to our page in case the browser is older, like Internet Explorer 8, and that'll allow our CSS to latch on to those classes that are added by Modernizer and make our page more cross-browser compatible. Inside of our body, we have our container div, and then we have our conditionals for our errors or our success messages, and then we have a div that I've created with an ID of landing header. This is where I put the H1 with our welcome to Yelp camp text. Then we have our view all campgrounds button. We've also added an unordered list with a class of slideshow and it has five list items. So this is pretty interesting. We're not actually gonna use the body to create the background because we have multiple backgrounds that are gonna be fading into one another. We need to attach them to some type of HTML element. So what we've chosen to do is attach each background to each one of these list items. So you'll notice we have five list items that correspond with the five background images that we're gonna have crossfading into one another. And then at the bottom we have our partials footer, just like before, we're gonna go ahead and use the include tag and then direct it to partials forward slash footer. So if we save our landing.ejs and we go ahead and run our server, so I'll run mongod, and that gets my mongo daemon running. Then we can open up another tab and run Nodemon. If you don't know about Nodemon yet, go ahead and install it. It's an alternative to using Node app.js and what it does is it listens for any file changes on your server and if a file gets changed and saved, it goes ahead and restarts the server for you. That way you don't have to keep going back and forth to your server tab, closing it down and restarting Node. So to install that, we're gonna run the command npm install dash g for global and then Nodemon or Nodemon. So once it's installed, as long as we're inside of our parent directory for our project, we can run no daemon and it'll look for the app.js file. Or you can explicitly tell it no daemon app.js. So now that we have our server running, let's go ahead and preview it. I'll open it up full screen here. And currently we have this H1 and then we have our button and we have our five list items. So now what we have to do is go back and style all of this to make it to where this is centered and these list items are, well, the bullets for the list items are hidden and then replaced with a giant background image that takes up the entire page. You'll notice that we no longer have the navigation bar up top because on the landing page, we don't really need it. We can just go to view all campgrounds and then if the user wants to sign in, they can sign up or sign in from there.